Hey, what's up, Fit Pros? Jonathan here from Smart Shark, and I'm coming to you again with another episode of Level Up Wednesday, where in this week's episode, I'm going to share with you the three R's that you have to have if you're going to be successful in generating more leads for your fitness business, and more importantly, how do you get those leads to turn into paying clients? So part of why I came up with this topic, and I wanted to share this with you today, is I'm running a Fit Pro Hustle Challenge where Literally, we're giving away the training and the tools of how to generate at least four to five new clients within the next 30 days. The challenge is absolutely free. We're getting some great results in there. We're getting clients that are generating as low as one to two clients on the low end. We've got some people crushing it. They're up there, seven, eight clients already. And we still have 10 days left in the challenge. So if you'd like to join us in the future, I'm going to have a link down below that you can join absolutely free. We'd love to see you on the other side and we can change lives together. So with that being said, the reason I wanted to take some time and make a, a level up um, Wednesday episode about this topic is I'm getting a lot of questions from our members um, really about how do I make my offer? How do I go about getting people to take action on that offer? And it really comes down to the three R's that I hinted at a few minutes ago. So let me share with you what those three R's are. So your first R is gonna be the right audience, right? I'm gonna get a better pen here. <laughs> See if this writes a little bit better. There we go. So before you focus on your offer, right, whatever that is, if it's a free trial of your boot camp, a free trial of your online uh, fitness program that you have, maybe it's a fitness consultation, or maybe you're just making a direct offer like, hey, get my, my fitness program for $99 or whatever that may be. Before you get into how do I position that, you need to make sure that you have the right audience, right? Because you could have the best offer in the world. I mean, you could have the cure for cancer for crying out loud. But if your audience are all people that don't have cancer or don't have family members that have cancer, then it's not the right offer, then it's not the right audience. You know, another way to look at this is let's say you put together a muscle building program and you're like, hey, I want to help you put on three to four pounds of lean muscle um, within the next 90 days. If your audience is a bunch of, say, older men and women in their 50s and 60s who don't really care about building muscle, they just want to be functional, they want to feel good, they want to have more longevity in their, in their play span, their lifespan to say, um, that's not going to be as effective because you don't have the right audience, right? So the offer doesn't matter until you get this down. So if you're struggling with your offer, look at your audience first, right? So with your Facebook friends, what are those friends comprised of? If you're a weight loss coach, then your Facebook friends and your followers should be people who are wanting to lose weight, right? Because if you don't have the right audience, none of this stuff matters after that. So that's your number one focus is do I have the right audience? And also, how clear are you with who that audience is? What do they sound like? What do they look like? What do they like to do? What are their goals in terms of fitness? But more importantly, what goals do they want to reach by getting in shape? So let's say Mrs. Jones wants to lose 30 pounds. Well, why? What is that real motivation behind the 30 pounds? Is it so that she can feel more comfortable as she's gotten older? Is it so that she can lead by example for her children? Is it that she is uh, very career oriented and needs to be able to have the body in the vehicle? to allow her to push herself or, or him to that next level within their career. You've got to get really focused and really clear on really what motivates and makes these people tick because that's going to all go into the next R's that I go into, um, which is going to be your timing and obviously your offer. So get clear on your audience first. That's step one. Step two is the right time. You can have the right offer, the right audience, but it's just the wrong wrong time. So let's say you work with school teachers, right? And they get off they get off during the summer. They get the whole three or four months off. Um, so when you're taking that into account, you need to realize what they have going on during that time frame, so that your offer is at the right time for where they're at in their life. So doing a summer challenge is going to be great because people are going to want to get in shape before they take their trip. So let's take the school teacher. Maybe she's got a family trip planned in August. 
they went out in school or May or June. It's been a while since I've been in school, obviously. I don't remember the time to do that about anymore. But when you know they have that trip planned, maybe you have your offer designed to help them get started so they can get in that shape and really maximize the experience on that trip, right? On the other token, if you have an offer for school teachers and you're running that in September when school comes back, you're probably going to get a lot of resistance. You're going to get a lot of those teachers going, oh, I can't do this right now because my kids are back to school. I've got to focus on doing learning lessons and planning and all the other stuff that goes into that job. Your offer is probably not going to be as effective because the timing's off. Another thing to look at is what offer are you making in terms of the relationship? If you have never met someone before and you go right for a, hey, buy my stuff, it's only $50 or 99 or it doesn't even matter the cost really. But if you're making that offer that new in the relationship, that person might be turned off and go, hey, I don't know you like you or trust you enough yet. I'm not comfortable investing anything regardless of the money because I don't have those three things with you yet, right? So maybe you're going more with an introductory, let me add some value. Let me give you something to introduce myself and build a little bit of that no like trust first. And then you can go in more towards, hey, now that we've met, I've demonstrated my value. Now I have earned the right to make a paid offer to you. So you got to look at your timing in terms of the season, but as well as in terms of the relationship, have you earned the right to make that next offer, right? So after you have the audience and the timing, well, then it's the actual offer, right? So this is where it comes down to just what I was just saying a few minutes ago is it comes down to in terms of the relationship. So as you build that rapport and you're building value, you earn the right to ask for the next thing and then the next thing and then the next thing. You've got to look at this as dating almost. When you first meet someone, you're not going to instantly go steady, right, or be in a committed relationship. You might go grab coffee first. Let's grab some coffee and let's just hang out for 10 or 15, get a feel for each other. Cool. You have a great experience. Maybe in a week or two, it's like, hey, would you like to grab one? Awesome. We move to lunch. Cool. Would you like to grab dinner? Awesome. And then you can move through. And as you have those touches in that relationship building, then you can move into like, hey, I think I like you. You like me. What's date? And then dating turns into marriage. Marriage turns into, you know, and the story goes on from there. It's no different in terms of making your offers in terms of your audience. Build value first. Let me give you something without asking for anything. Then go into like a, hey, Here's something I can do if you meet with me, like a fitness consultation, where you're going to lay out step by step how to get them from A to Z for their fitness goal. And that gives you an opportunity at the end of that to simply ask, great, if you like what I put together and you feel like this is a good fit for you, how would you like me to continue helping you? Would you like that? And if you focus on the experience and the value, you're going to get more people than not going, sure, I'd love to continue working with you. What does that look like? And now you've earned permission to go into your paid offer. So really master the three R's. Starts with your audience, goes into your timing, and then you're going to wrap it up with focusing on the offer. So if you enjoyed the video today and you got some value out of this, go ahead and drop it in the comments, any questions, thoughts. Love to hear from you guys. Um, other than that, keep on kicking ass. And I look forward to chatting with you next time on Level Up Wednesday. Take care now.